Hi, welcome to Blockholic. In this video, we are going to talk how to access a blockchain. This video is a part of my 10 videos blockchain tutorial basic series. If you have missed those earlier videos, the links are in the description. Okay, just go there and watch the videos. Okay, let's get back to the topic. Here, how to access blockchain. We have been talking about this for a while now. So, in order to access a blockchain, what you need it. Okay, let me give you a traditional example which we have been using for about 10 years now. Okay, let's go back here. You have a Gmail account or you have a bank account. In order to access your Gmail account or a bank account, you will have either username or a password or email address. Right, of course you do have it and that's how you're going to log into your Gmail account or YouTube or whatever it is. That means in order to access something, you have your username and password, right? In the same way, in order to access or perform the transactions in a blockchain, you need to have a public key and private key. It's just a two simple things or two simple strings which you use it in order to access any kind of a blockchain network. So here we don't have a username and password. Here we have a private key and public key. To access your blockchain account, you just need to have a private key and public key. When you are creating your private key and public key, the system is not going to ask you any OTP or email verification or mobile number. That's cool, right? If you are creating a Gmail account, it will ask your mobile number. If you are creating your Facebook number, it asks your mobile number. If you are creating your TikTok account, it asks for your mobile number. But here, in a blockchain, if you are creating any account, if you are creating an account for yourself, it won't ask you an OTP or email verification or even a mobile number. That's cool, right? But not all the times. What happens? It is truly anonymous. But if you lose your private key, you will lose the access to your account forever. That means if you forget your private key, okay, if you forget your private key, forget it. You are not going to get anything. At the same time, if you are lose your private key, that means someone stole your private key, that means they have an access to your account and if there is any funds in that particular account, they can be able to transfer it to someone else or they can just steal it, you know. So, it is very much important that you need to store your private key very secretly. Hey, you have been talking about a private key all the time. So, what happened to the public key? Okay, I'll tell you one thing. So, if you are transferring money to someone, so what do you ask? You ask the other person bank details. Let's say bank number or from which bank. Isn't it? So, the public key is also used exactly for the same reason. Let's say I, if I want to transfer some uh, currency to someone, I ask the other person's public key so they can share their public key so that I will transfer the funds to their public key. With their private key, they access the uh, data or the currency whatever I sent it. That means public key is, you can give it to anybody whoever want to transfer the money to you at the same time private key is only to you without which you cannot be able to access your blockchain account that's all for this video if you like my video please comment below and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching